I don't want to sound argumentative, but then tell me if buying Russian gas is not funding the war? I mean, why is it? It's only Indian money and uh, oil coming to India which funds, but it's not gas coming to Europe which funds. I mean, look, somewhere, I mean, let's, let's be a little even handed out here. If, uh, countries in Europe and the West and the United States are so concerned, why don't they allow Iranian oil to come into the market? Why don't they allow Venezuelan oil to come into the market? I mean, they've squeezed every other source of oil we have and then say, okay, guys, you must not go into the market and guess the best deal for your people. I don't think that's a very fair approach. How do you think you'll be trusted by others after that? Why do you think anyone will help Delhi after you didn't help others over Ukraine? If I were to take Europe collectively, which has been singularly silent on many things which were happening, for example, in Asia, you could ask why would anybody in Asia trust Europe on anything at all? People need to understand if you can be considerate of yourself, surely you can be considerate of other people. So if a Europe says, uh, look, uh, we have to manage it in a way in which its impact on my economy is not traumatic. Uh, uh, that that freedom or that choice should exist for other people as well. Europe has to grow out of the mindset that Europe's problems are the world's problems. But the world's problems are not Europe's problems. That it's if it is you, it's yours. If it is me, it's ours. You know, a linkage between China and India and what's happening in Ukraine. So come on guys, I mean, China and India happened way before anything happened in Ukraine. We have a difficult relationship with China. We're perfectly capable of managing it. It's, uh, if, if uh, I get global uh, understanding and support, obviously it is of help to me. But this idea that I do a transaction, that I come in in one conflict because it will help me in conflict too, that's not how the world works. Uh, so a lot of our problems in China have nothing to do with Ukraine, have nothing to do with Russia. They predate it. Where does India fit into this? But are you no, planning to not the, take a No, side? I'm sorry. That is exactly where I disagree with you. This is, this is the construct you are trying to impose on me. And I don't accept it. I mean, I, I don't feel, I don't think it's necessary for me to join this axis or not. And if I'm not joining this, I must be with the other one. I don't accept that. I mean, I think I, I am a... I'm one-fifth of the world's population. I am, what, today the fifth or sixth largest economy in the world. Uh, I, I mean, forget the history, civilization bit, everybody knows that. But I, I think I'm entitled to have my own side, I'm entitled to weigh my own interests, make my own choices. And my choices will, uh, will not be cynical and transactional, but they will be a balance of my values and my interests. There is no country in the world which disregards its interests.